Frank Gabby style. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We are home. We've been out all day, but we are home and man, do we have a story to tell you guys. So to start, we were out running errands, minding our own business. We stopped by the Big Apple and bought our favorite mumbo crumble apple bread with raisins. Sam and I both love it. So we stopped there. I think we're gonna push the food under the dresser. We were coming home from our errands when we saw a sign that said kitten for sale. Kit kittens for sale. And we've been thinking about getting a new kitten for a long time because this barn has two, this farm has two barns. We're just getting in to mice season and we have two barns on this property and or one cat is just not gonna cut it. We've been working out solutions for our mouse problem and we decided to get a new barn cat. So when we saw the sign, we thought for sure, hold her up. We thought for sure it was an awesome opportunity. So we stopped and now this little girl, Gabby named her Anya, is our new baby kitten. She's eight weeks old and it's way too little to go out in the barn. I mean, she came from a barn, she was a barn cat, but we don't want to put her out there by herself. I'm worried she'd get in, like out of the barn or she'd fit into little tiny spaces because she's nervous. We decided that we're gonna keep her in the house for the first couple of months. And the best place for that is Gabby's room because Gabby's room has a door and no dogs can come down here. Molly does sleep down here. And uh, we're gonna acclimatize her slowly to dogs via Molly. Molly is a lot better with cats than Ruby. Ruby is a cat crazy girl. So we don't want to expose her to Ruby yet. We want her to just get used to being here. We want her, aw. This is what she looks like from the back. There were three kittens, three barn cats, and only one was a girl. She's gonna live down here with Gabby for a while. We're gonna come and visit her and spend time with her. And we're gonna slowly, oh, she's putting her back to you guys. We're gonna slowly acclimatize her to barn life once she gets a bit bigger. I think I said, She's eight weeks old. Welcome to the day farm, little kitty. I can see her sleeping in Gabby's bed. <laughs> She's looking pretty cozy there. You're looking so cozy. She's like, what is that black thing? Look at her looking around. Come here. She's like, no. Meant to be or not, we weren't expecting to find a kitten today, but we just were driving in the right spot at the right time and they had just put the sign out and all three kittens were gorgeous. This is the only long haired one, but she was the only girl. She looks super happy down here, Gabby. So Gabby's getting a little roommate for a while and we're just gonna let her acclimatize because our house is a zoo and not a good situation for a barn cat that's not used to a lot of things. We want her to build some confidence and feel comfortable before we start introducing her to her her life. Who knows, maybe she'll turn up to be Gabby's cat in the house. But for now, this is, what's her name, Gabby? Anya. Anya. This is Anya. Gabby named her. She is so cute. You better be kitty litter trained. You better be kitty litter trained. It's your box. Show her where the food is. We put the food under the dresser because you guys know how scared kittens like to go under the dresser or they like to get away. So we put her food in her water there so that only she can get it. And she's exploring. She should just sleep in there. Oh, she just hops right out. There is actually a little cat door on Gabby's door. I'll just have to take out these screws and she could have a cat door. But I'd be worried that Ellie would come down. Speaking of Ellie, so we got Gabby a caramel apple. She eats the, oh, she eats the caramel off, off of it and then she leaves the apple and then later she comes back and eats the apple. I got some soft food for her. Oh, hi. I really want to put that under there so that the dog can't get it. Oh, hi, baby kitty. That's okay. She's scared. It's okay. You're okay, it's okay. Gabby's gonna be doing studying. She has like a ton of homework now she has to get done before tomorrow. So she's gonna be spending the rest of the night down here. Yeah, she's like, don't touch me, ew. I don't like you. You will like us, you will like us. So when we found this cat and Gabby showed like some interest in it, 
I knew that it was something that I wanted to get because sometimes when you lose an animal and you have something else to focus your love and attention on, it can help. We're still looking for horses for both girls. We're letting God bring them. We're looking. We're actively looking. But we're not rushing. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. All right, you can stay down here. This is where Gabby does her homework. She keeps all her cleaning supplies, all her nice smelly stuff. We're gonna put all her cats in this cupboard. See, I walked away and she perked up and was like, come back. She doesn't want me to leave, but she doesn't want me to stay. That's okay. You're okay. Yeah, she's really cute. You're really cute. And for all the people who are saying, why are you getting more animals? We are not done getting animals. We have a farm, we have a big farm. And we have a few other animals that we want to add to our farm. We have a hobby farm and it's been, always been a dream of ours to have the animals that we love. We love taking care of them. It's our whole life. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, you're already getting so friendly. Uh, we were hoping to wait for the spring to add any more animals to our farm, but this little kitten showed up just when we, just when we needed her most, right? We let God guide us to the animals that we get. Oh, she's cleaning herself. She'll be vetted really soon. While we were out, Sam bought this. Isn't that cool? It is, I don't know if it attaches to his tractor or not, but it's a seed spreader. So, and it also aerates the ground. So he plans to aerate all the fields, spread the manure, and plant the seeds. Obviously not yet, he'll do that in the spring. The leaves are falling down, you guys, do you see them? I think I mentioned yesterday that it is gonna be summer all week, this whole week, up until I think Friday, is supposed to be summer-like weather, super hot, just like, just like summer again. And then we're gonna get right into fall, nobody's here. But I wanted to tell you guys a couple of things that I wasn't able to tell you in the last videos. So one, Sophie tied for reserve champion at the last show. The other girl got two third places and a first, and Gabby, Sophie got two seconds and a third, I think. And the points are equal. I think they're both 11 points. So whichever girl got the first place, she got to, she broke, that's how they break the tie. So she got, she got reserve champion. But our body decided this year to do a, banquet so we're having a banquet so he's gonna to get to go to her first banquet Gabby went to hers last year I think or the year before and so if he's gonna to get to go to her first banquet we're all gonna to get to go it's gonna be like a big party for our barn I've been we've been to a Christmas party with our barn before I love our barn our barn is such a happy amazing experience like every, there's not a mean person at our barn like not a bad person at our barn it's all like-minded people so that's coming up but also <laughs> Look at how well the horses cleared this. Like we got goats to clear all this property and yet the horses just cleared it. Just like in one day they cleared it. Also, I wanted to tell you guys about the hay bale that, that we bought. Nobody's here. <laughs> Nobody's eating it. <laughs> the goats have stood on top of it. Nobody's peed on it. Nobody's got their foot caught in the net yet. But Sam has planned right from the beginning to build a hut. Like we've gone over all the different ways that we could house that thing. He wants to protect it from the wind and the rain and the snow and all that stuff. So he's gonna build a hut. He's gonna go and get all the stuff tomorrow morning and build it. He has some stuff, but he needs some more wood. So he's hoping to do that tomorrow. He wants to do it quick before it all falls apart and he can't keep it all contained. This is where I found them. The four girls. And then Stormy Boy's over there with the goats. What the heck? Why is he over there with the goats? Look at all the leaves. Hi. You hanging with the goats? Look at his ears. You hanging with the goats? I hate to see the, the land all dried up. This is what happens at the very end of the season. Everything just dries right up. Well, hello, babies. What are you doing over here? What are you doing over here? They're like, we're just eating leaves. Oh my goodness. The flies are back. Yeah, you are such a good boy yesterday. I'm gonna make the vlog really short today because I have so much to do. I have like literally so much to do. Hi, baby. Uh, I have to help Gabby study. She wants to just like, look, they're eating the leaves. 
run some things by me like she wants to mem she has to memorize a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna like read them out to her and see if she memorized them she also has to write a scene of a play in English and I also need to get the house cleaned get it all ready for the week because we literally spent half the day out shopping no we did hi sweet girl hi she's like do you have food for me come on let's go we're gonna go in I have lots to do Gabby has always wanted a ragdoll kitten or she's been wanting one for a while now and I keep telling her no because we don't we want to be really careful with our cats because we have dogs and Ruby chases cats you guys saw what happened at our old place with her other cat Ollie who is still here and happy he was scared all the time so I don't want that to happen to our kitten. I wasn't sure if we could get a cat and keep it in Gabby's room and it could still be socialized the way it needs to be and still be happy the way it needs to be. So we're gonna try it out. And if it works out, then maybe eventually Gabby will get her dream cat. But for now, she has the love of a baby to take care of and I'm excited for her. I really wanna get in this area because this is such a fun area for goats, but I'd like to clean it up a bit. They've eaten all the leaves off that bush over there. But they love it in here because it has all the fences to climb under and all the logs to climb on top of. Ellie's like, ah. <laughs> see, I love that. Oh gosh, don't drink that water. I literally, I literally, hey, don't drink it. Just cleaned this pool, gave them fresh water this morning. And what makes it dirty is not so much the poop, but the dirt. They eat bugs and they burrow, they burrow their, their, hey, don't drink it. They burrow their face in the dirt and then they put their, their face in the water and it turns it all dirt. Every day I have so many things that I want to tell you guys about and remind you about and prepare you about, but then I forget. But I did want to remind you that even though that show series is finished for the season, and we still have the banquet and the award ceremony. I, we still have two more shows. Two more shows, like two big shows actually. All in October. October is gonna be a busy month. October is gonna be an exciting month. October is my favorite month. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys in the next video. You know you don't plant until spring, right? What? You don't plant until spring. But it's too... It's too late in the season. This no fall and in the spring. It's double done when it's done in the fall and the spring. Yeah, but it's not going to rain for a week. Yeah, no, I'm just getting it ready. Oh, because you have to buy grass seed still? Yeah, buy <laughs> grass seed. I was just testing it out because you're supposed to aerate the ground anyways. Don't you know that you're beautiful?